previous game. The number eight here, Pierre Bako, his... It was very, very good. And for the Solomon Islands, uh, they are banking it by number one with Gray. New Caledonia. New Caledonia. Now they're on. The six, two minutes of play that has gone here. The Solomons look good. Michael Elafa to take this free kick. Ball comes in the 18 at box, still no. Yeah, the New Caledonians now, William Rockard, uh, who's been uh, in the solid in defense. They've got a very solid uh, uh, defense, the uh, New Caledonian. Philip Mango already called to the midfield, also has a very experienced midfield, the New Caledonians. And now, New Caledonian ball for Eli shot and bounce here. And Eli goal here for New Caledonia. What a goal here. Probably not the fancy goal you would see, but it is a goal and an important one, especially in the early minutes of the game. It's only six minutes, approaching the seventh well, minute mark. They had a free run. You look at the run that came in the shot, and the Solomon defenders were not at all coming anywhere near. David Super should have done better, closer to him here. And you look at that goal that is scored. What's with Solomon Islands in? But again, they build a play here through the captain, finds Bako, goes for a long one here, David Supa. Not a good clearance by David Supa. And that's now capitalizing on the loose ball here, Micah finds John Orobulu, tries to go here, but the goalkeeper for New Caledonia, Rocky Mathilon. Now Solomon Islands on the counter-attack. Rafa Leai, can you find Michael Lealafa? Yes, one player in front of him in the 18 yard box. John Rorobulu left it out. Rafa coming in on the far side, still managed to keep the ball, but probably could have been more clinical there. Yeah, that was an end this final. As they build a play through John Orobulu. Running with him is Michael Lealafa. He got, couldn't go past one player and replay. This is what they were doing in the semi-finals. Uh. Putting numbers in the box here. From Komasi, ball comes in. Almost going in. Midfielder that they call a attacking midfielder. Nicole again going for a shot here. Looks like a shot to me, but not quite making it past the Solomon Islands defense. Again, they call it here. A shot coming in. Philip Mango saves. Good yeah. one. Again, it's uh, PM Bako. That gets involved. Morgan Mathelon, who has played an exceptional role for New Caledonia against Vanuatu. He looks to do the same here against Solomon Islands. And the number nine, the danger man here, he's with the ball, still keeping it. Goes to Bako, goes for an early shot. Again, blocked by his own player. New Caledonia building around the 18 yard box, hunting for an opportunity to capitalize on. See you. Un ah. Unnecessary losing of the ball there. Now, oh, good save here by Philip Mango. In the back, you can get punished, and uh, again, uh, that a great save by Philip Mango, but they were pushing. Finds John Orobulu, decides to turn, goes past two players in the process. Probably just to Javin Ali. Finds Joseph Nawo, brings it up, tries to go to Rafael Leai in the box here, tries to go past one. Managed to turn, he's still going, still fumbling, oh, and been brought down. And the referee decides, still play on. Here's the turn, try to turn around. A case to argue here for the New Caledonian. Go to Micah, again to Rafael Leai, cuts in past two players. Looks to go for a through ball here, but again, Josis now is Micah Lealafa. That's the ball in, and Islands on attack, three against four Solomon Islands, they got numbers here, tries to find their newly substitute, it's, it's a play, long one, tries to find John Orobuli and Rafa Lea. couldn't do so, Malone again flicks it over, John Orobuli with the speed, he tries to collect the ball, defended well by New Caledonian, Solomon Islands now through Komasi, Tries to find Leia, goes to John Orobulu. He goes to one player and he goes for a shot. Beautiful goal, beautiful finish. Chico by the number 13. They're calling for an offside. They've all gone to crowd the. Uh, they've all gone to crowd the assistant referee.
Look at the spectators. Wait, we wait. The assistant referee wants to talk to Riding. the man in charge. Here we go with the replay. This was the through ball, touched on. I think he might still be onside here. No, no, that wasn't offside. That, that was, was he ran behind. Yes. It was a that was a goal. That was an offside. So Don Arabolo equals Luis Weafa. And Arabolo's goal equalizes them. Probably too much for Micah here. Luke Alduna tries to go for the attack here. Alan Peter, not a good header by him, but Komasi finds Micah. Early ball to Joseph Nawa. Inside the 18 at box checks. Goes for Rafael. Uh, probably a little bit too much. It's still on. One of these teams might have a chance here. John Orobulu again. The goalkeeper equal. Morgan Mathelon. He waits for his player to move in. Ball comes in. A challenge here by New Caledonia. They are dangerous inside the 18 at box. Turns the defense well. Captain checks. Oh, and a mistake by himself. And we saw that so Solomon can do it. Now New Caledonia outside the 18 at box. Hands up play. Checks going for a shot here. And. A great goal indeed. Yeah, we wow. Didn't. That's just caught Philip Mamo off guard. And probably a lot of concerns here for Solomon Islands. Defense. This is where they they set it up. And Philip should have done better. Should have done better. Philip, uh, two uh, mistakes by him. He was off his line mistakes by him and he should have done better. Solomon Islands again chasing game. Can this be their third goal? Ball comes in the 18 at box. This is now a check trying to go for a shot there. Couldn't do so. And a ball coming. John Orobuli calls for They're a calling handball. For a handball. Referee decides to ignore the call. And Alan Peter lets the ball drop. Not a good one here. The counter attack from New Caledonia and also unnecessary foul here by look at the replay here. Look at the defense here. Just unnecessary. Yeah, the Should right have foot shown bringing. Him. New Caledonia Baco here delivers and uh, Morgan Mathelonia. And interesting to see no one's picking up Baco here. Lucky as New Caledonia through William Rokud. Long one into the 18 at box. Good header there by the number nine. Alan Peter clears it. Not too far. Rafa Leib picks it back up. Then New Caledonia again. Alan Peter almost miscued this one. And New Caledonia is true. Philip Mango saves. Yeah, but can they do it? That's the question here. Rafa Leib tends one, goes past the other, and wins a foul in the process. New Caledonians. Atkin Kawa taking the kick the quickly. Here. First ball in and almost resulting in a goal for Solomon Islands. Again, New Caledonia building up attack here. One against three players. Solomon Islands take. Looks to find Michael Yalafa to Rafa Leai. And offside here. Should have taken it. A look at the space here. Yeah, it was miles offside, uh, but yeah, they uh, he needed to walk it in walk rather it in. than uh, play it on to him. It's all simple thinking in front of the goal mark. Calvin Osia just is now a tens, brings it up. This number in the box gives it out here. Rafael decides to head it back. John Orobulu comes up high. Have more space. They have not been pressed out. They got a ten here from their danger man. Ball comes up. And Philip Mango saves here. And I wonder what's happening. But now Solomon Islands through Micah Lealafa. He comes up, he checks, and he goes long to find Rafael Lei. Probably could from the middle. It's Matelon here. Oh, clever ball in here from Matelon. And a shot coming in over the bar. Solomon Islands. Then the final pass is the one letting them down here. Rafa to David Super. Outside the 18 at box, looks to find his player Rafa in the middle pack. Goes to Atkin Kawa, sets up Rafael Leai. He tries and turn, and then he's going again. He's going to shoot from here. It's a goal. It's a brilliant goal by number 13, John Orobulu. And 
none other than Rafa Lea is the one who assisted this one. Raymond, your thoughts yeah, on Yeah, good work by Solomons. And I said they needed to get their passes correct here. And uh, Rafa Lea inside the box where what he does best inside the boxer and uh, laying it on one, two touches here. Atkins Kawa starting it and then across Rafa following through again and and touching it on again it's that man John Aribulu just look at how clever he is Raymond yeah see look at John he's standing he's watching he's watching he and he's time. following through that's what a good striker does and John Aribulu makes it 2-2 two -two here and he gets his second goal and of course goes on to the top goal scorer of this tournament so far they've been springing passes here Oh, not a good one here, boy. The midfielder probably should have been a better pass by him, but still, New Caledonia looking dangerous in the edge of that box. Swings it in. Good save by Philip Mango. Again, both teams seem to just... Boy, you look at this. Uh, this is the miss here, but the great save uh, by Philip Mango. But the space in the middle here. Yeah, no one's there. Then he goes for a long one to Micah Lealafa. He has one play here. Can he beat the player? He brings it back to... Calvin Oasia and uh, miscommunication between John Rubin. He's got the set here. Micah goes for it and over the bar. Now Solomon Islands build a play and they're attacking. Gobol goes up high here. Rafael Leai jumps up here, tries to get onto it. Close one here from Rafael Leai. Sets up play. Swings it in, low one here, running in, and Michael Alva, what a strike here. Again blocked. Sides to go for Micah, early turn here. It's Rafael Lea here, goes for acrobatic stuff here, but then... That's a good attempt. They know what's at stake here. Look at the take by Rafael Lea. Oh, great. Just outside the 18 at box, two Solomon defenders here. Not a good clearance here. Oh, and miscued here. It's the number eight here for New Caledonia. And unfortunate tackle there, resulting in a penalty. Calvin yeah. Ohasio on, I think that's the captain. Well, we'll have to have a look at it into injury time. Yeah, it's on Sisa. It's a penalty here. Oh, he chopped him down. Yeah. Just the way the momentum of New Caledonia comes in, sends the ball and oh, saved by it. Philip Mango. He's the hero. He's the hero, isn't he? Philip he Mango. is the hero, Raymond. And much to the smiles of all soldiers, isn't it? It's Rafael Lea. He's brought down. He's still going. He's still going. Outside the 18 at box, and again another foul here. It's the double yellow cards here. A red card against Morgan Mathelon. Rafa getting charged. He's trying to set himself for a shot here, Rafa, but then foul. Interesting. Rafa like goes for a shot. Oh, saved at the line. Slowly. Drove it well, didn't he? That was. And New Caledonia, Fonji run chain. He checks. And, and saved. Saves. Brilliant save there. Again. He dived right side again, Philip, with that save. Like he did earlier on against the captain. He's probably spent the whole game just resting for a penalty shootout. We'll see. Solomon Islands now has the task of scoring. It's their main man, the captain now. Micah Lealafa. Yeah, he's a good finisher, Micah. A uh, futsal player. A good opportunity for the stand-in captain. A goal here would definitely put confidence in the Solomon Islands penalty takers. Micah Lealafa to convert, checks and sends it well. Solomon leading. Yeah, and there's a good kick by uh, Micah Leafa. 
the stand-in captain to put Solomons up. That will give confidence to the rest of the kickers. The crowd loving it. Now, this player up next is probably one of my favorite players, I would have to say, Raymond. Pierre Baco is up for New Caledonia. And a goal for him would do the same, instill confidence in the next penalty taker for New Caledonia. But it's Philip Mango here, two penalty saves already, one in the game, one in the penalty shootout. Can he do another one? Bako comes in and converts well. Mango actually goes in the right spot. Yeah. Solomon still have the advantage. Rocky goes back. Bako goes across to uh, give him confidence. So David Super. Interesting choice of penalty takers. From a right back, probably he has the confidence. Confidence here, so. Yes, David Super for Solomon Islands. Can he convert and put two goals to Solomon's? Oh, and hits the crossbar. Hits the crossbar, and we're back. And a poor kick by David Super has uh, made it equal now. It's one all. It is painful. Uh, it is painful, a miss like that. To put too much power, as you said, he's a defender. And a uh, defender shot that he did take. Interesting choice there, and you, you speak of young players coming up. This is one here. And you've mentioned when he was substituted on as probably for the penalty shootout. He's definitely up on the as line. I here. did say they probably brought him for the penalty shootout. There's Philip Mango again. Oh, good one, good conversion there by the youngster. Philip Mama was going the right way, but good. Richard, yeah. As I said, he probably were brought in for that penalty, and he's made it count. Now Solomon. Atkinkawa. Atkinkawa. Plays in Fiji. Raymond would know. So Rewa. He's got he the has task to get now. this in. He scores. Atkin Kawa scores. Well, he converts well. Pressure back on New Caledonia. But still, both on two converted yeah. penalties. We come to the fourth kicker now for the uh, penalty shootout. Probably one of the players that you want to take a penalty as this yeah, man. Yeah, he is the uh, leading, one of the leading goal scorers. Luis Wire. Luis Wire. Number nine for New Caledonia. The striker, a great finisher. Look at the faces of Solomon Islands players. He got the first goal today. Let's see what he can come up with in the penalty shootout. Wire checks. Goes up and beaten Philip Mango, who decides to stand still in the middle. Pressure back on the Solomon Islands. There you see New Caledonian number nine, who just converted, pulling supporters. So for Solomon, again another defender here. That's the left back. Calvin Arceo. Well, can he make up for his uh, earlier penalty giveaway? <laughs> Pressure at such level is intense. So for these players to execute, it's a task. Here's Calvin. And sends it in. Good he makes it look simple, doesn't it? Definitely. Makes up for the penalty that he did earlier on. 
pressure back on New Caledonia. The crowd here is something about this national stadium that tells you the intensity and passion for football. And if there's one man to rectify his mistake, it's this <laughs> man here. Is this man here, or will he be the zero again from the zero to the hero, hero the captain? He's back in the same spot where he was a couple of minutes ago against Philip Mango. Can he send Philip Mango away? And he scores. Philip Mango caught off that good goal by Caesar. Yeah, this time he make it, makes it count, the captain. Pressure is back on Solomon Islands here. That's their last one here. But we'll have to see. And it's the star man, Raphael Le'ai. Look at the crowd standing. And just the feel, the vibe that you get around here. And Both sides have had one miss. And it's this gentleman here who's the darling of the Solomon Islands, their star player. Rafa Leai. Can he convert? And he does. Quite neatly, not too strong. Very confident take of penalty there by Rafa Leai. And again, Rocky Nikin, I thought he almost got to that one as well. Bernard Oaya. Can Philip Mango do one more magic? A defender for the New Caledonians. Bernard Iwa or Iowa can he convert and yes he does sending Mango the wrong way That's Solomon's opportunity now Alan Peter, interesting to see Solomon Islands have already three defenders, including this one's going to be the third defender taking a penalty. Shows the confidence the coaching staff have in yep. their defenders. Alan Peter, the Solomon Warriors defender. The New Caledonia goalkeeper Rocky Nikin probably wants to add a little bit of pressure on this take up he sets himself up and good goal good finish former defender but rocky niking of new caledonia was almost had it good finish pressure, pressure back on isn't it back on new caledonia who will it be that will be the criminal sort of to say in this can mango produce the goods here so uh, new caledonia jaron waia the save here will definitely be spectacular jaron waia almost oh, having a penalty good parent good penalty very composed Shows quality there, Jared Wire converts well. Back to Solomon's now. And it's another defender here, um, holding midfielder rather. Kofana. Leon Kofana. For the Solomon Islands, it is heart breaking, isn't it? And heart stopping. Indeed, and this man here has the responsibility. Rocky Nikin and converts well. Brilliant penalty by Leon Kofana. Pressure back on New Caledonia here. Raymond. Yeah, definitely. It's gone to the eighth kicker. And now, one 
this each so far. It is six all. Six all, not counting the final score. And uh, Vincent Varke. Vincent the veteran of New Caledonia. Probably his last tournament. Philip Mango steadies. And he delivers. He converts Makes well. Seven. Experience in that side. They don't want to watch it. And New Caledonia again. Putting pressure back on the Solomon Islands. Not with this man here, John Orobulu. He can be as confident and also clinical in front of the goal. Can he do it? And a penalty spot kick of such level. Oh, what was he thinking? A miss here by John Orobulu. What was he thinking? The top goal scorer, John Orobulu. What was he thinking with that kick? Sends John the ball Arabolo. way above the crossbar. And he's down. He's broken right there. For a striker that was the leading top goal scorer in the tournament, what was he thinking, uh, Alex? Disappointment here for Solomon Islands, but the joy here from New Caledonia players. They know really well. That's the man here, disappointed as he is walking now. This is definitely a heartbreaking situation for him, for all the supporters, especially the majority of the support here, Raymond. What was meant to be a good afternoon for many turned out to be an excellent afternoon for New Caledonia, in fact. Yeah, definitely when you look at